Hey everybody, Tanya from Shooting Star SVG back and today I want to show y'all how to create a bow with a stroke in Affinity Designer. So if this is your first time here, go ahead and click on like and subscribe below as that does keep you motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. Uh, one of my lovely YouTube audience members had asked how to create a stroke outline in Affinity Designer. So it is a little bit more complicated than what I am accustomed to dealing with in a program like Inkscape but I have cracked the code and it is a little bit tedious just because of the way Affinity Designer is. However, it is possible, just took me a little bit longer than I wanted to, but I'm gonna show y'all how to do that today. Um, and if anybody has any suggestions on how this could go a little bit faster, I'm open to that. I'm still learning AD, but I'm happy to teach you guys whatever skills I may or may not have. It is not my design program of choice. I prefer Inkscape. However, I'm here for you guys. So here we are. Um, I just got done working a 12 hour shift. It is 8.30 in the morning. I'm a little delirious, but we got this. So I'm gonna head over to my computer screen and we'll get started. Um, so I did just start out with a bow shape. So for me to create this, I literally just took a, a rounded rectangle and I just uh, pulled these out and then a rounded rectangle in the middle. Okay. So you can see this has like the bow is shape. It's just not what we want. So the end goal of this will be a black stroke and I'm just going to use red for the fill. So I'm going to go back to my fill and I'm going to change the fill to red and I'm going to change the stroke to black, which it is. And I'm just gonna expand that stroke out, okay? So I'm gonna probably exaggerate this just a little bit for the purposes of this. So you can see um, nothing is a path at this point in time. I'm gonna go ahead and select these and I'm going to um, go to layer and I'm going to convert to curves, okay? So now these are curved. I'm sorry, I already did that. <laughs> this is what I mean here, okay? And then I already converted these to curves. That's how I got these shapes where they are. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to layer expand stroke. This is going to make my stroke into a path. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for all three. So you would just go to layer expand stroke. All right. So now we have our stroke situated. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take these three shapes here that make our bow and we're just gonna compound them. So to do that, we're gonna go to layer, create compound. Now you'll see if I bring this up to the top that it is all filled in, okay? And I'm gonna bring this to the back because we don't need to do this or deal with this right now. What we want to do is get rid of all this hullabaloo in the middle here, okay? And again, these are three separate pieces. So to start, you're gonna select either side. You can start with, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna start with the left side. So I will select the left side. I'm gonna hold my control key down, or my shift key down, I'm sorry, and click on the middle here, all right? Now you can see where these intersect. I'm gonna use the divide function. We're going to go to layer, geometry, divide. And you will see that this breaks out into a few pieces here. And I'll show you what we're just gonna do. We're gonna delete this middle piece, boop. All right, so we're getting somewhere. now. I'm gonna point this out in just a minute, but first we're gonna get this one situated and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna to go to layer, geometry, divide, all right? We're gonna delete that. Now, we're not gonna stop here because if we did this, it's gonna cut those tiny little pieces that I showed you when I'm rolling over on the screen out. And what we want is we want everything to combine together, okay? This is where it gets a little bit tricky sometimes with Affinity because it's just not as clean as some of the other programs. However, it's completely doable you just have to know what to do, okay? So this next step, what you're gonna do, if you scroll in here, all right, look at these little white lines, okay? I'm gonna show you what I mean in just a second because I'm just gonna select everything and I'm going to deselect this red background. 
Now, what I would normally do in a program is I would be able to just unionize these and be done. Unfortunately, the way that this affinity interface works, I have these really thin white lines when I perform the divide, and I haven't been able to figure out a way to get around that. But there is a quick little hack here. So what you want to do is you want to zoom in, and all I'm doing here is holding down control and rolling my mouse. And you want to double click, and this is going to get you in your nodes, and you're just going to want to pull these lines out, okay? And you see it's not going to affect your corners at all, but just pull them out. I don't know, whoops. I don't know why that little guy's there, so I'm just going to delete it. Pull your lines out, okay? And you're going to do that on all four. Pull out your line. It's so weird that that little node just showed up there. All right, pull your lines out. Again, it's not going to affect your corners. We're going to go down to these other ones down here, double click, delete this little node. So be careful of any little extra nodes there. I'm just going to pull this out, pull this out, pull this out. I'm going to do the same over here. Delete this little freaking node. And I'm going to pull this out, pull this out, pull this out. Okay. So now I can zoom out. I can select everything. Come on. Select everything. Deselect the background by holding down shift and clicking. And now I am going to go to uh, layer and I am going to go to create compound and I have the cutout here. So you can see that we have this cutout. Now we're not done because if we were just to send this to a machine now, I know you're like, God, oh, there's one more step. If we were to send this to a machine right now, it would cut the red vinyl out halfway through the middle of that stroke. And we don't want that. We want this thick stroke, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go over to the stroke layer. We're going to right click and we're gonna duplicate it, okay? Then we're gonna take one of the layers, it doesn't matter which one, hold down shift, select the red layer, okay? And then we're going to go to layer, geometry, subtract, okay? Now you see when we roll over, we have two separate pieces, okay? And so when you send this into a program like Cricut Design Space, it will cut both out. So actually, as an added bonus, let me go ahead and pause it. I'll open up Cricut Design Space and we'll get this thing rocking and rolling. I'll group these together. I'm gonna go to File, Export, and then I'm gonna click on XVG, SVG for Export. And I'm just gonna click on export. I'm gonna save this to my desktop as bow. And we'll go ahead and try to open this up. Keep in mind, I'm not messing around with the export persona. Cricut Design Space is really finicky with Affinity Designer. You can check this video out up above for exporting SVGs from Affinity. It's not perfect. What y'all need to remember is SVGs are scalable. If you know how to use the Cricut program, it's really not that big of a deal. For, but for people who may not be familiar, it could cause a few stacks. So we'll actually see how it uploads into Cricut without doing the export persona. So hold on one second, we'll get Cricut Design Space open. Okay, so I had Cricut Design Space open. I'm actually gonna trash this because this is interesting. We're gonna try to work through this. I'm gonna click on upload image. And when I went to upload this, it said the uploaded SVG contained the following items that are not supported clipping paths import anyway. I'm gonna hit continue and we're gonna see what happens. I'm not sure what that means. Anyways, I'm gonna add this to my canvas. Oh, and it opened like up like a little teeny tiny baby. Okay, so you can see here I have a basic cut and then the three shapes here. I am not sure what is going on. So it almost looks like it uploaded, huh, interesting. I'm gonna ungroup this. It uploaded one, wow, hmm. I guess when I did these clips, it just continued to keep that. Let's go back to Affinity and see what in the world's going on here. Okay, so I think my mistake here is that I have these extra clipping paths that I did not want and I forgot to remove them from the canvas and that's fine. You can just delete them out. But basically when you click on make it, it's going to give you the cutout of the bow and then it's gonna give you the cutout of the um, inside of the bow, okay? So that's virtually how you would do it. Just don't forget when you're taking out of Affinity that there are some extra 
um, curves that you need to delete after you get rid of the compound. So if you look here, like these are extra shapes that don't need to be involved. Okay, so like if I just was to delete out these curves, um, I'm left with these three right here and I can go ahead and group those. And um, if I ungroup this group, I know, you can see that it's separated, okay? So I'm just gonna run you guys through this really fast so you see this. So I'm gonna go to File, Export, SVG, Export, I'm gonna say um, Bow 2. And I'm going to cancel out of this. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to upload the second bow. All right, upload. I did not get an error that time. Add to canvas. Oh, it's this little teeny tiny thing. And then there you go. I have this basic cut and these three basic cuts, which I can just go ahead and weld. So I'm good. And again, when I click on make it, I have these two cuts going on here. So. In a nutshell, that's how you would take care of it. So Cricut Design Space is like super finicky, not a fan. If you have to choose between a machine, I would definitely recommend the Silhouette Cameo. I have made the switch and I will never go back to Cricut. However, I know a lot of people use Cricut, so here we are. That's all I have for y'all. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. And as always, if you got something out of this video, please go ahead and like and subscribe below. Um, as that does keep me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. And it also lets YouTube know that you guys like what you see. Um, and if you haven't already, go ahead and join up on the Facebook group where we are creating a community of like-minded individuals looking to grow their semi-passive income with digital downloads. And as always, if you need anything, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm here for you. Shooting Star SVG, signing off.